Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're returning to the topic of the Psalms and their meaning. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The Psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy. And to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the douay Rheims Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the douay Rheims Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 29 in the douay Rheims Bible, but Psalm 30 in the RSV. A Psalm of a Canticle at the Dedication of David's House Context for the Psalm I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast upheld me and hast not made my enemies to rejoice over me. David had hard times in his life, but he ultimately experienced many victories as well, and this seems to have been written after a big one had been completed. Like David, we should be thankful when God allows us victories, even small victories. O Lord my God, I have cried to thee, and thou hast healed me. This might be a reference to a literal healing, but it could also just be a way of saying that God answered David's prayers by granting him relief. If we experience relief, we too should pay special attention to the fact that it comes from God and express gratitude for it. Thou hast brought forth, O Lord, my soul from hell. Thou hast saved me from them that go down into the pit. God recognizes sincere intentions and virtuous actions and will in time reward them, but he does things according to his own timetable, and some kinds of relief can only come in heaven. Sing to the Lord, O ye his saints, and give praise to the memory of his holiness. Those who seek holiness and faithfulness should praise God in song. For wrath is in his indignation, and life in his good will. In the evening weeping shall have place, and in the morning gladness. God's disposition towards us matters. If he's displeased with us, we can suffer for it, and if he wills it, he can give us continued life, even eternal life. However, in this life there are always sad times and happy times. Evening here probably refers to dark times full of misfortune, when weeping is appropriate, and mourning to an end to the dark times, when people notice the good things that they have more than they otherwise would. And in my abundance I said, I shall never be moved. When people have a lot of good things, they sometimes think it will last forever, but only God can make that a reality. O Lord, in thy favor, thou gavest strength to my beauty. Thou turnest away thy face from me, and I became troubled. God provides all the power we have, and when he decides to remove some of it, it causes great distress to us. To thee, O Lord, will I cry, and I will make supplication to my God. However, in the end, there is no one else to turn to who can provide what we need. If we have offended God, we should do the best we can to make amends. What profit is there in my blood, whilst I go down to corruption? Shall dust confess to thee, or declare thy truth? It doesn't benefit God for a good person to be slaughtered in despair. However, we see here the limits of the afterlife before Jesus came to redeem us all. A dead body can't give glory to God, but a saint in heaven can. The Lord hath heard, and hath had mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. When God shows mercy on us and helps us, we should acknowledge it with gratitude. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into joy. Thou hast cut my sackcloth, and hast compassed me with gladness. By allowing times of misfortune to pass, God improves our lot in life, making it much more obvious how much we have to be thankful for. To the end that my glory may sing to thee, and I may not regret. O Lord my God, I will give praise to thee forever. When God provides us with good fortune, we should show our gratitude and not forget the good things he's done for us in the past. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.